I've made myself a brand new tool which is going to help you to select the best DNS server for your near, flash your DNS cache and overall get lower ping in Fortnite. I'm also going to show you all of the other methods which I utilize and your favorite pros in order to get super low ping. So therefore don't forget to leave a like and subscribe guys since we're on the road to 120k and I'm at the moment also giving away a SteelSeries Apex Pro on my Discord guys in the announcements channel. In the first place now guys I'm going to show you my brand new network pack by the stripes as it already says here and I made myself a whole entire tool which can basically change the DNS server on any PC guys. This will actually take a good while to make guys so therefore I would highly appreciate it if you could subscribe literally right now guys. You can by the way find everything on my official website guys link to it in the description. It might have a few pop-up ads which you can just simply click away but here is the direct button to get the pack. Since I'm actually giving you all of this for free you can see now in the first place we have a few options. Set DNS to Google DNS which is actually for most people the fastest and most secure one but then we also have Cloudflare DNS which is also pretty good so therefore you can try out both of them. Then we can reverse to automatic IP and DNS which we had before or flush our DNS cache. So therefore what we want to do in the first place guys is click under 4 and flush our DNS cache. This is really important that it says right now here successfully flush the DNS resolver cache so that we remove all of the data which were in there. Now what we can do is basically set our DNS to the Google DNS server one so therefore we're gonna type in that one and then you can see now that our primary DNS is now set to it guys and the secondary DNS as well and now you can see that it actually gets applied on my network adapter and I'm using now the following DNS server. If you want to revert this or try out a second one guys, you can just simply click under revert Then you're gonna click under free and now once you're going to check out my network adapter again guys You can see that it's completely reverted This is a great way to get a way more stable and better internet connection because actually the Google DNS server works a lot better for most people So therefore I'm gonna apply it because this is actually the one which I use myself and now I can just simply exit the tool itself Now next up guys, we have a few network adapter settings in here which I actually want to show you and the only thing which you have to do guys is open up your network connections tab and then you can see your network adapter. Right click onto it and go into properties. And once we're now in here guys, we can click under configure. And this is now exactly how to apply it guys. Go under advanced and in here now you have a bunch of options which you can set up on your network adapter. First of all, we have RPM offload to disabled, ECMA to disabled, energy efficient ethernet to disabled, flow control disabled, interrupt moderation disabled, IPv4 checks and offload undisabled. And we, the only ones we have to change a little bit guys is the maximum number of queues. And you should select four queues if your CPU has four or more cores and two only if you have a dual core CPU. But for most of you, it's anyway, it's gonna be at least four guys. And then speed and duplex. You can basically select the highest one, which is available for you. Just wanna make sure that you find all of these options here on the left side and apply all of them step-by-step step into it. If there are a few settings which you cannot apply guys, that is totally fine because not every network adapter is the same or basically every network card. So therefore click on okay then, and then you're done here. Moneymaker, Asian Jeff, and many other pros are also utilizing this tool which is called GR Booster which is allowing them to get super low ping in Fortnite guys. You can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description. Even Mero the FNCS one is using it and it helped me to get only 7 milliseconds of latency in Fortnite which is already improvement of 60% guys. And with the brand new adaptive intelligent routing guys, the GR Booster is basically in the background always going to search for the best DNS server while you're gaming, ensuring that you have the least amount of ping. You can try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description. So guys, and this next step what I want to do is open up your task manager in the first place. This works by the way for Windows Windows 10 and Windows 11 and then you can see on the right side the category network. Click onto it once so the arrow actually points down so that you can see all of the tools which take a huge chunk of your network connection. And you can see right now here Steam for me is actually taking about 70 Mbits which is quite a lot actually. So therefore what I'm gonna do is actually close Steam in the background if I don't need it while playing Fortnite. The next up you have maybe something like Google Chrome running here in the background guys and you can see that's around 10 Mbit so therefore I'm going to close this one here as well fully and then really just make sure guys that you have have only the stuff open which you actually need while gaming. This is gonna result in the lowest amount of ping. If you use something like Spotify or Google Chrome to listen to music, maybe try to get Spotify offline. You know, you can sometimes like load these songs into your PC and then you can listen to it even without having a connection. But yeah, these are a bunch of extra steps which you can do. Then you can see now guys in my system tray that I have a bunch of tools running in the background. What you can do is just simply click here under startup actually under test manager and then make sure that you fully disable everything which you don't need while gaming. You know, we have something like Microsoft OneDrive here which I don't need so I'm gonna disable it then as well here the web browser then we have something like Spotify is already disabled Steam I could basically disable so it doesn't launch every single time when I want to play GitHub updater I can also fully disable and yeah maybe Google Chrome straight up from the beginning guys and then we're already good to go just make sure that you disable as many as possible guys and then we're gonna close this and continue another quick extra step which I want to mention is guys that of 
course, using a wired connection is always gonna be better. If you can, use a LAN cable. If not, that's also fine. There's actually something called DLAN adapters. They're really easy to set up, guys. It's basically two of these boxes. One of them you put directly next to a PC, one of them next to a router, and then you connect the LAN cables. Through DLAN adapters, you basically get a LAN connection through the power network of your house. It works literally everywhere, guys, and it's so much better than a wireless connection and so much more stable, especially if the router is maybe in the second or first floor or maybe a little bit further away from your room.